door you'd think would inject a little life into a free-falling Jays squad. Nope. Gibbons was barely at the airport with his luggage, and the Jays had already dropped another one on Friday. So Saturday, their second attempt at properly welcoming the new guy. And Cito Gaston hoping he can help turn this slide around. They've lost six in a row. They've got just four wins in all of the month of June. Jesse Litch, a 7.43 ERA and three interleague starts. Bottom of the one of the first, Jason Bay, will inflate that number. Two-run shot into the stands is 15th. And early on, it's 2-0 Pirates. Second inning man on Litch gets lit up again. This time, courtesy the light-hitting Raul Chavez. Just his fifth career home run in 11 seasons. 4-0 Pirates. Fourth inning man in scoring position for Rod Barajas. Hits one off to first. Adam LaRoche still makes the bad throw to Paul Mahalam covering. Barajas is safe. Vernon Wells will score. And the Jays are on the board. Same inning after Kevin Mench walks. David Eckstein up with the bases juiced, but he grounds out up the middle, meaning the Jays would strand three, and that proves costly. Bottom of the fourth man on Jose Batista hammers another hanging Lich offering. Is Fourth jack in seven games, make it six to one Pirates. Rough night for Lich, giving up six runs on five hits over six innings pitch. Jay's offense still struggling. Runner on for Lyle Overbay. Grounds into the inning ending double play. Toronto is hit into an American League leading 83 double plays this year. The lone bright spot in the sixth. Runners on first and second. Barajas doubles to the right field corner. Both runners score. That'll make a game of it. Cuts the lead to three. Next batter, Eckstein, a single to center. Barajas gets sent around. And Nate McLeod comes up gunning, and he's got plenty. That will stuff Toronto's best rally of the game. And, yeah, Twisted Sister not happy. Jays lose 6-3 to three the final score. How about this? They've lost seven in a row. They've lost seven straight series. And in their last three weeks, have lost seven and a half games in the standings. They fall to 3-8 and eight in interleague play this season. And as you can see, the meat of the Jays' order has not been very meaty lately. They combined for just five home runs since May the 1st. Alex Rios, in 162 games dating back to last June, has just 11 home runs. There was good news for the Jays today as ace Roy Halladay is okay after being thumped in the right temple by a line drive during Friday's game against the Pirates. Happened in the seventh inning, he was hit by a comeback off the bat of Niger Morgan. He underwent precautionary x-rays after the game. He's listed his day-to-day and expected to make his next start against the Cincinnati Reds. In the meantime, the news not as good for Sean Markham, the right, he's been placed on the 15-day DL. He's got a right elbow strain. We'll visit an arm specialist on Monday. He's been undergoing treatment for several weeks, but doctors decided to shut him down after discomfort in the elbow continued in his last start on Wednesday against Milwaukee. So they will rely on Sean Markham to try. Hello, 